In the heart of the wilderness, where the mountains cast long shadows, secrets lie hidden. In late 1979 Salt Lake City, Utah, former Mormon missionary Arthur Gary Bishop was becoming one of Utah's most prolific serial killers. He had four male victims throughout his killing rampage, ranging in age from 4 to 13. His reign of terror lasted nearly four years before he was finally brought to justice. He lured boys into his dangerous grasp with the promise of candy, new skates, money, and toys. These boys soon found out they were in for something much more sinister. Once he got them to his house, he turned into a monster. Tying them up, molesting them, taking pictures of them then. Taking their life. After Bishop's last victim police made a big break in the case and Bishop became the focus of their investigation. Police brought him in for questioning and feeling the pressure of the interrogation. Bishop told detectives he wanted to show them something at his house. When they arrived, they found more than 300 photos of young boys, some placed in a white wedding album, and 125 pictures of naked boys cut out from magazines. Police were able to identify and interview 21 boys he photographed and molested, but Bishop said that their estimate was low and to double or triple that amount. Bishop was found guilty of five counts of first-degree murder, five counts of aggravated kidnapping, and one count of sexually abusing a minor, and sentenced to death.